Hello folks, I want to show you something I built in case you have the need to build one or have the same issues that I do. I'm sure many folks out there have the same issue. Raccoons that get into your cat food if you're trying to feed outdoor cats and you're in an area that um, you have raccoons and possums which is pretty much every area. I did some research and I came up with this design. This is a raccoon proof we hope about 99 percent proof um, cat feeder these little critters will try every way in the world to access this cat food and it's quite comical i have a video coming up a few videos at the end of this where i recorded them trying to to gain access so stick around for that so let me just take you around real quick um, how i built this and in case you have the need there's many different designs you can use you want 40 inches from the ground to the top of this platform. Raccoons can jump a little horizontally, but they can't jump vertically. I want to measure this for you. It is 40 inches off the ground. It is about uh, 20, got to focus, about 23 inches wide. And same here, about 23 inches deep. The cats can make that jump with no problem. They can jump from the ground, from the floor, up to that platform. If you have a banister close by, they can also jump from, you know, another area, um, such as this rail, to this landing. But you have to be careful because, and I have this pulled out to the middle of the porch to show you, but... Um, if you're any, this is too close, as I found out. I originally had it here in the middle, but I found that the raccoons would jump from this banister and they could make this jump here. Not very well, and most of the time, you'll see on the video, they'll make the jump and crash into this area here and fall, but a couple of times they were able to make the jump, hold on here, and then climb on up, so I had to, um, had to move it. Uh, on this direction here towards this glass so just to take you through how I built it real quick this is actually a hen um, laying box nesting box that was part of another larger kit that I found at a surplus store um, kind of a liquidation store it was about 20 bucks just for this box it had a shingled or has a shingled roof on it and um, it's made out of redwood, so it's waterproof, rot proof. So I found just this piece for about 20 bucks. And that's what I started with because I wanted this large opening. And then, so I took this piece, I made a two by four frame, and then I set this on the two by four frame. I'll show you that frame there. This is a post. Uh, this is two two by fours nailed together to make the post and then it comes down into a uh, two t-post here and they are screwed in and then i have two runners here out of cedar and uh, it's very very stable it doesn't uh, doesn't move at all and then i put a landing here out of cedar so it's waterproof this cedar landing um, the wood that I purchased at Home Depot, I purchased it out of their miscut section for 10 bucks. I think I gave for, for all this cedar, so it's um, rot proof and and I'll, I'll do the job just fine. And then I, I extended the roof of that laying box. I just extended it out to about three inches overhang here. That's to keep the water from blowing in. You can see there on the roof. There go and then I took the flashing put the flashing all the way around and screwed it in there's a 10 inch flashing it's 10 inches it's about 10 bucks for a 10 foot roll at Home Depot or Lowe's see there the cat can jump up with no problem and there you have it it works very well I think I can put about uh, 15 16, 17 pounds of food in there. I have a large 
plastic tote that I'm going to put in here. So for the next trip, I'm actually taking another trip, a 12-day trip here um, in a couple of days. So we will see how it holds up. So far, so good. Let's give you another walk around here. This flashing was in good shape. It's still in good shape. Um, but the bending that you see here is from all the, the raccoon activity trying to gain access to it. They come up from underneath and, and then they reach around and buckle it and they try every way in the world. I'll give you another look underneath it. So the raccoons will climb the pole and then they, but they can't get around this flashing. And uh, they'll certainly try. They'll crawl out here, try to come around the flashing, but they just can't get around it. Okay, so I have it positioned the way that it finally started working for me. Get the camera to focus. And as you can see, it's facing the glass um, to the back of my house there. Obviously, the raccoons can't climb glass, so it's a little closer to the glass. It also helps. Um, it helps deter the raccoons from trying to make that jump. The cats can make this jump, the rail to the top of the roof. Then they come around and go in. I want to show you the distance that it takes. If I can get the tape to hold here. Uh, focus. That's not really focusing, that's 47 inches. And then over here, again, it's going to be, actually that's about 50, 51 inches. Um, but the cats, again, can make this jump here at, at about 47 inches. They just jump from the rail. Uh, I have one cat that jumps from the rail to the top of the roof. She's kind of the younger kitten. And uh, so far, she hasn't jumped from the porch to the top, this 40-inch jump, um, like the other kitten's able to. Well, there it is, folks. That is the raccoon and possum proof cat feeder. Thanks for watching folks and enjoy the videos coming up.